I want to encourage you to make Thanksgiving part of your life, every day of your life, for the rest of your life. And today, I just want to give you, if you're not sure what to be thankful for, let me give you a few biblical reasons to be thankful. And these are all have to do with God and what God's done for us. God's goodness is a great reason to be thankful. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. You know, a great thing about the goodness of God never changes. God is the same amount of good on a good day or bad day for you. God's goodness never changes. It's infinite. And it's perfect. So God is always good. So even if you're having a bad day, take hope. Be thankful. There is a good thing in this world, and that is God, and God is always good. God's help. God helps us. There's been times in your life, and you know it, when God has stepped in and helped you. Record those times. Write them in your Bible. Write them in your journal. Write them in your heart. When you're having a bad time, when you're going through a difficult season, Give thanks to God for the many times He has helped you. God also encourages us. I like Psalm 30. It says that God takes our mourning and turns it into dancing. God can take the worst uh, of what's going on and make it some of the best things in our life. God can give us joy and encouragement even in times of sorrow and suffering. God is able to do that. If you'll just open your eyes and look, you will see God is working. Even in the worst times, God is working. Even in the darkest times, take encouragement. God has encouragement there for you. I can look back at the most difficult seasons and see here, 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 and here. God was sending a person, changing a situation, making something happen that brought encouragement to my heart to get through that season. Number four, the nearness of God. You're never alone. You're never alone. God is infinite. He's personal. You have an invitation to his throne of grace. God is as close to you as you want him to be. God is as close to you as you want him to be. God is right there. Maybe you feel all alone right now. Maybe you feel like like people have, have abandoned you or rejected you or you've been forgotten. God is there. Thank God for the nearness of God. Whether you feel it or not doesn't change the fact that he's there. Thank God for his love. God's love is infinite. God's love is unlimited. God's love is unstoppable. God's love is unceasing. God's love is unexplainable. God loves you. There's no reason why God would love us. We're not lovable. But God loves us because he loves us. He's chosen to love us. and He loves us, period. He loves us, period. God loves you. Right now, this very moment, you're not unloved in this world. God knows your name. God knows your situation. And God loves you. Well, beyond that, God has answered prayers in our lives. I don't know about you, but I have hundreds of answered prayers in my journal. A man named George Mueller recorded 10,000 answered prayers in his prayer journal. 10,000. God answers our prayers. Be thankful for that. Thank God that he's a God who answers prayers. Thank God that God has given us his word. There's been so many times in my life I've been discouraged and I've read the word and there's been a word for me from God's word that spoke right to my heart. I've been discouraged. Maybe I'm in church and I hear the word is read and there's a word for me from God's word that I need right in my heart. Somebody will share a verse with me, and that's just the thing I need. God's Word. Thank God for His Word. Thank God for Christ's sacrifice. When Jesus gave the the Lord's table as an ordinance to the church, His body, the bread, His blood, the wine, we're supposed to receive it with thanksgiving. We're thanking God for the sacrifice of Jesus for our sin. Without Jesus dying for us on the cross, we would have to pay the penalty for our sins. We would be separated from God forever. We would have no hope of ever experiencing heaven. We would have no hope of ever really being filled with the love of God or the goodness of God or the grace of God. We'd have no hope of eternity, but because of the sacrifice of Jesus on that cross for our sins, 
the sacrifice of Jesus before the cross in becoming a human, taking a human body, give thanks. Thank God for Christ's sacrifice. Thank God, Romans 6 tells us, that, that he gives us deliverance from sin. He not only delivers us from the penalty of sin, but he delivers us from the power of sin. You don't have to say yes to sin any longer. Sin is no longer your master. Legally, you've been set free. You have a new master, Jesus. You have the power. You have the authority to say no to sin. You don't need it. You don't want it. You don't have to do it. Give thanks to God that you've been delivered from the power of sin. Thank God you, you've got victory in Jesus. Thank God who always gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God who leads us in a victory parade through the Lord Jesus Christ. You can live every day in victory. You can live every day filled with love and joy and peace and power and purpose and hope and meaning and victory because of Jesus. Give thanks to God for the victory. You say, I'm not feeling it. You start being thankful. You're thankful first, and then the victory starts flowing in your life. And obviously, the last one, all of this is only available to us because of God's gift. Thank God for his great gift, the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Where would we be without Jesus? What hope would we have? without Jesus. I want to encourage you to be a person who gives thanks, a person of gratitude every day of your life, throughout your day, every day of your life. For the rest of your life, give thanks. This is Dave Early. If you're not a part of our community, we invite you to join us. Watch these videos every day. They will help you grow in your faith. You can, you can follow us on Facebook or YouTube. Everything in your life, everything to do with Jesus is a reason to be thankful. This is Dave Early, and if you like this type of practical, simple, clear Bible teaching, we do this every day. Uh, these videos are available every day on Facebook and YouTube. Like our page on Facebook, follow us every day, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We want to help you be a person where God makes a difference in your life and you make a difference in somebody else's.